You know how every time you create a new Python virtual environment, there's several steps involved. First, you have to create the virtual environment, and then you have to activate it, and then you'll probably get prompted to upgrade pip in that process. All this could be annoying after a while, especially upgrading pip every time you create a virtual environment. Now let's go ahead and create this script that will automate this process for us. And please feel free to use any text editor that you are comfortable with using. In my case, I'm going to be using Vim. And if you want to follow along, please do. For me here, as you can see, I'm in my desktop as my directory. And you can be in any directory so long as you know where you're in. For me, I'm using my desktop directory. And what I want to do, first of all, is create a file where I will have a script live in. Next thing you want to do is press I on your keyboard. That way you're able to edit the file. And the first part of the script I want to do is create the virtual environment so what we're doing here essentially we we're just replicating the steps we usually do manually into this script in a step-by-step -step process so that it can execute it in the same steps as well the next step is i want to activate the virtual environment the next step which is why we're here today is upgrade pip so we don't do this again manually ever again and that's it for our code that we need to run this program the next step you want to do is you want to save this file and if you're following around press escape on your keyboard and type in wq and the wq here stands for write and then quit just enter and it's already saved and if you do list you should be able to see that file created already it's right here and this is what you're looking for so if it's created there the next thing we want to do is we're going to make this file executable by making it executable we'll be able to run it afterwards as a file to do that we want to change the mod of the file and make it executable and we just put the name of the file there what you want to do next is move this file to your path that way it's executable in any file within your system i'm moving it to user local bin and you can see here as a verification it's under user local bin where we actually want it to be now let's test it out and see if it works what you want to do is type in a source that way it executes within this shell itself and it can activate the virtual environment here if you don't type that it might not do that so make sure you do that and the name of your executable file and also after that give it the name of the virtual environment remember that dollar sign we put it earlier this is where you're replacing that with the name of the file that you want so in this case i'm putting it as virtual environment and as you can see you created the virtual environment so this is the virtual environment file i created and it went also ahead and after that it upgraded pip now if i do pip list you can see it shows us the pip is the latest version and everything else it doesn't give us the warning that it usually gives us and that's it you never have to upgrade pip anymore give it a shot let me know what you think and see you and catch you in the next video bye